My name is Evelyn Muthon Kaburia from Kenya. I came in India in April through a recommendation to Dr. Meet. When I met in Dr. Meet, I was so happy because he started my journey for he detected that I had poem syndrome. I didn't know the disease before. It, he said it was poem syndrome and I thought it was a very difficult journey to go. But he made it very easy to know that I can make it and there is no problem. So when I started the journey with him, I've always been encouraged day by day. The drugs were not harsh on me as I was told by people. They took the responsibility to take every step and every day. And they acted in everything which came around. She is Miss Evelyn and she's from Kenya. She had contacted me almost eight to nine months ago when she her only complaints at that time was she was having continuous requirement for blood transfusion. So her only complaints was she was having a requirement for blood transfusion and along with that she had some intermittent fevers. She had a history of swelling in both her feet that was there for almost a year from now. So she had been worked up there back home, but unfortunately there was no diagnosis that could be made. Someone told them that there is a problem in the bone marrow, there is some other problem, some liver problem, some kidney problems, but no one could reach a concrete diagnosis. So one of our friends who lives there, he he had actually referred that patient to us in Malingo Asia Hospital. We worked her up completely. So there were some confusion as to the diagnosis, but ultimately we reached a final conclusion that what she's suffering from is something called as POEM syndrome, P-O-E-M-S. That is a type of blood cancer, a subtype of plasma cell dyscrasia, which presents usually with slightly different features as compared to a typical patient of multiple myeloma that is actually a much more type of common blood cancer. So she received a, the treatment here with us at Marengo Asia Hospital. She completed four cycles of chemotherapy after which her disease burden was brought down significantly and recently she underwent an autologous stem cell transplant for this rare disease called OM syndrome. Her autologous stem cell transplant went really well and her cell dose was great. So we, after the stem cell transplant she had a very very comfortable pose. We were able to discharge her on the 11th day post-transplant without any significant post-transplant complications. On this uh, transplant patient received extensive chemotherapy as Melflan we gave and that time patient goes in under very severe um, neutropenic phase. That phase time patient was uh, neutrophils is going zero and we work on that time uh, to manage the infection control practices. We work a lot on to prevent infections on the patient. We are doing a lot of hand hygiene practices, follow our infection control practices, reverse barrier nursing, how to handle the lines. So totally we work on infection control practices on very uh, extremely basis. And we always try to give zero infection during the all transplant period. Right now, patient is discharged with zero infection and she's very happy with the treatment. And always we are trying to give our best to reduce infection and uh, provide good nursing care services in Marengo Asia Hospital Gundam. Thank you. We have discharged her with the hope that she might be cured of her disease. So with this, we want to say we are here to serve people. We are here to serve patients who require bone marrow transplant, specialized treatments like bone marrow transplant, and we will do our best to justify the treatment. For more details, you can contact us at Marengo Asia Hospital Group. Thank you. Marengo Asia Hospital was so kind to me. Nurses and the supportive staff were very good. They were kind, generous. They talked and laughed. And the whole journey, I felt I was comfortable and I am not even sick. <laughs>